Hey, what's up all you gamers? My name is ZDGamer16, and today we are back for another episode of the Pokemon White Randomizer Extreme Lock. And I need to try and do something real quick. So let me just restart the game to see if it gets any faster. Okay. Eh? Eh? Is this on speed up? It was, okay. That looked like it run, ran a bit faster. So, let me do a real quick team recap. You probably see the team on the layout, but hey. We just did a, a grinding montage, so even though that was like over two weeks ago when I actually did it, but here we have King, the core fish that evolved into a Whalmer. Uh, so yeah, he's got the contrary ability, Sucker Punch, Scald, Force Palm, and Octazooka. He will be evolving at level 40, I'm pretty sure, so he's going to be the priority. Uh, then we have Bugsy, level 36, Carnivine, with the Levitate ability, Bite, Growth, Leaf Tornado, and Attack Order. Did not mean to move the order. <laughs> uh, Frog, the Politoed, level 36, but uh, Sap Super ability, Bubble Beam, Hypnosis, Double Slap, and Drill Pack. Then we have Rat Pat the Lopunny, level 36 as well, Anticipation Ability, Work Up, Mirror Move, Horn Attack, and Fly. Such bad moves, but hey, they're on the team now, so you know what it'd be. Alright, then we got Claydol, the, or Top the Claydol, level 36, Flare Boost Ability, Store Power, Dig, Glaciate, and Iron Head. And last but not least, Yes, last, last but not least, Pea Shooter, the Sea Drill of 36, holding the leftovers. Normalized ability, Hydro Pump, Smoke Screen, Aqua Ring, and Water Gun. He's basically the mascot of this team, let's be honest here. Like, unless we get a Monferno, Pea Shooter is definitely the mascot. Uh, but yeah, in the last episode, if you didn't go check, or if you didn't watch it, it was... I cannot speak, apparently. It came out... Friday, I think? Pretty sure it was Friday. Uh, I should probably say this. I'm recording this like a day before it goes up instead of the usual week before it goes up. Reason for that is uh, school last week was a very big yikes. I had tests like every day and uh, the assignments were kind of butt cheeks. Oh my god, wait a minute. Oh, yikes. This is not recording well at all. Okay, did that fix? Uh, hold on, if I speed up, will this look really shitty still? Okay, I don't know what's going on. Hopefully the game looks fine. I just heard a bit of lag music, but hey, it do be like that. Um, okay, I guess we'll just have to go on through with this. Uh, sup Magros, how you doing? Hopefully everything is good because that looked very yikes um okay so a lot happened since I last recorded Steve I finally got to play him only took me like 70 years but hey it do be like that uh, what else we got what oh this guy has iron barbs um, let's see so Steve and I beat Persona 4 just yesterday, actually, so that's good. Uh, I might talk about that a bit. Um, I played more Genshin Impact. I'm at Adventure Rank 33, I'm pretty sure. And honestly, once you get to like around the level 25, maybe, that's when like the game really falls off in content. And really, all you're going to be doing is just going on once a day, doing your daily like uh quest and then being like peace i'm done for the day yeah and the rolls system for the game is kind of poop so yeah it do be kind of a yikes but hey it do be like that uh what else happened let's see oh right crown tundra is out now which i'm probably gonna upload that eventually i'm thinking of either doing it like I do the whole thing in one video, just cut it down. Mainly I'm thinking that because well, I saw a video of people doing that already, but also 
I want episode 69 to be the last episode, because I think that would be funny. Um, I'm either going to do that, or I'm going to do the same thing where I cut some bits out that are not really necessary, but also have like more than one episode, because apparently the Crown Tundra is pretty long, because I saw a stream of someone doing it for five hours. So that's a... yikes. It seems to be probably shorter than the last one we did, which... Well then, that's interesting, isn't it? Also, King, please stop paying yourself. What are the levels? 29? Oh, what was that? Your coat? Don't hit yourself, King. Okay, thank god. Oh, nice. Burn, burn. That's pretty good. Alright, let me sucker punch. Let's see what this will do. The damage. A low tad is a tad bit weak. Ah, so yeah, six minutes in, not bad, kid. I don't really remember what we're doing in this game. I just know that uh, we're going to the next town, I think. So I guess that's the plan. And yeah, it do be like that. It really do. But I guess I'll talk about Steve from Smash. I haven't really played too much games with him. And the ones I have played are against AI. But from what I've seen, he seems like really good, apparently. Like, his Smash attacks deal like maybe as much as Ganon. And that's just really weird. Especially like if he has his Diamond Sword out. That's just like an easy bop across the field. Uh, the minecart stuff is interesting, just riding around at the speed of sound. I think he might be the character I play a lot because I would play Joker, but I suck at him. And uh, Steve seems easier than Joker. He doesn't really need too many like combo moves to get kills, well, while Joker really needs combos and then... The only time he doesn't is when he goes into Arsene mode and he's like, well, die. So that's a jolly good time, I must say. How uh, was this? Oh, Clink, how are you? Why is this battle so long? Why does this ordinary trainer have like four Pokemon? Oh, gear grind. I do got some gears to grind. Oh my god, that did a lot. Why'd that do so much? I thought water resists steel. Oh my, oh that was speed boost. I don't know what I thought that said, but I was very scared for a moment there. Uh, well, so, oh, S Steve uh, is a Steve, but <laughs> apparently he had some victory pose thing where he's holding meat, like steak, but it's in the position where it's Close to Schlong area, so uh, I guess <laughs> Sakurai realized that and was like, "Oh, should probably get rid of that." I think that's just fine. Oh my God, Thunder Shock! Thank God I'm over leveled. Am I right or am I right? Uh, yeah. So <laughs> I think that was kind of funny. I haven't really been on my Switch too much lately because. Uh, reasons. <laughs> uh, yeah. Mainly because I was focusing on J School. And also wanted to finish Persona 4. So, yeah. So, I think that's a good segue to go on to Persona 4. So, I finished the game and... Oh my god. I got so many bad endings. Or good, bad, slash... Whatever. I didn't get the true ending after, like... Five. There are so many endings in that game compared to like Persona 5 where they're, it's really simple on how to get the endings. They're like yes or no questions. It's like, oh, tell me, would you like to do this thing? Oh, good. You got the good ending. Oh, you did the other thing. You got the bad ending now. It's like, what? And what is... And then there's another ending in Persona 5, which is basically another yes or no. 
Yeah, the endings are not complicated at all in Persona 5. Whack. Oh my god, that did a lot of damage. I should probably heal. But, yeah, Persona 4 has some really cool endings. I haven't seen, well, I have seen kind of all of them. Not, like, from playing to get all the endings. But I got the true golden ending, or the true ending slash golden ending, which was really good. The... Uh... Neutral ending, and then I also got the true neutral ending. It's confusing. There's a lot. And uh, another thing, the final boss, well, uh, I, I think I was listening to a bunch of Persona 4 themes while doing like homework and stuff for school, and I remember hearing this one theme, I think it's called The Fog. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And, wow, I'm just going to be stuck in these battles forever. I should speed up a bit. Um, oh my gosh, why is this doing so much damage? Celio, you flipping tank. Or, not tank. Water sp- Pfft. Okay, what is the damage on this? Oh my god. Goodbye, Octazooka. I do not need you. Like, Skull's already better. Wait, I actually haven't checked. Is my king a special attacker? Oh, he's even. That's perfectly fine with me. Uh, yeah, that's nice. Do I fly? I'm gonna fly back, because why not? Um, but back to what I was saying. So, the theme for the final boss, I'm pretty sure, is called The Fog. And that's its first phase, which I guess kind of spoilers. It has two phases. But... Yeah, its first phase has that as the theme. Second phase, the theme is... I remember also seeing this in the comments section. They were like, oh, wow, it's crazy that the first theme is better than the second. I'm like, oh, that doesn't sound good. And I go into the fight like thinking, oh, maybe as a good theme. Maybe they're just overreacting. No, they weren't. That theme is... I don't know how that's a final boss theme. It... It really didn't work as one. The first phase theme, I think I actually did work pretty well for it. But that second phase theme, no. I don't know what the heck they were thinking when they made that the theme for that. But hey, it do be like that. Yeah, overall, I really like the game. The only complaint is I, with it, I would say is the gameplay, but... That's because I'm comparing it to Persona 5, and that's kind of unfair. Well, no, it is very unfair. Ooh, Leafstone. Seeing as Persona 5 has a friggin' amazing gameplay, especially Royal. And then we have Persona 4, which... Is this really spoil? It's not really spoilers. Basically, all the dungeons or palaces, whatever you want to call it, they're basically all just mementos from Persona 5. If you played Persona 5 or know what Persona 5 is, if you've gotten into Mementos, then yeah, it, all the palaces are just hallways and you go through them, get treasure and stuff, and yeah, it's not actually that interesting, and I kind of got bored with it, and was just trying to get through the palaces by the end, because there was nothing really that stuck out to me, like, oh, wow, that's a really cool part. Whoa, no, no, they're all just mementos. And I knew, uh, what was it, Persona 3, I think their main thing is called Tartarus, and that's basically like mementos, which I guess they started, I'm sure Persona 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 all have the same like thing where it's like just the hallways you go through and uh, you eat, skeet, I, I don't know what the heck I'm talking about, but yeah, you do all that fun stuff. But Persona 5 definitely was an improvement to the whole, like, going through people's places th thing. I'm very interested to see what they do with Persona 6, if that ever releases. Who knows, that'll probably be like a long while from now. Oh, Fungus. Did I get my Fungus? Sableye. And I'll take that. I don't know if this is dupes or anything. Here, I'll suck a bunch. I'm sure this will actually kill, but... Okay. Oh. 
Is Grudge why I'm thinking? Of? Nope, I'm confused. Oh, Grudge is like Destiny Bone, but for PP, I'm pretty sure. Sucker Punch again, maybe? Okay, not bad. Omnus win did a decent amount, actually. Let me try and get this in my first ball. Oh, I had quick balls. Well, shit. Alright, yeah, a bit going away from that topic. Oh my gosh, I'm 20 minutes in almost, and I haven't done anything in the game. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm actually so sorry. But hey, at least I'm talking about Persona 4, right? I feel like that's mainly why I haven't done much in the game. Okay, shake. That didn't shake at all. I'm gonna get my boy killed, aren't I? I need to switch. Sure, Bugsy, go. You can take a couple hits, I'm sure. And maybe one of your attacks might not kill. Let's see. Now I'll just keep throwing balls. Safari Ball, go! You like Safaris, right, Sableye? Shit. <laughs> Enough said. Ooh, gotta love this ominous wind. Go, Pokeball. Shit. Okay, screw this. I've, like, pretty much done nothing in this game already today. I need to really get to the next area. So, we're just gonna speed run over here. And just, uh, sup, Clay? Ah, uh, thanks for thanksin'. I don't remember my own voice. Uh, looks like the race of an electric type Pokemon called Gap Ancient. What the hell's this voice? <laughs> I don't even know. I don't remember his voice. It's been two weeks. Maybe I'll make this episode a bit longer because I literally did nothing at the start. Or, for some If I did the average time, I would have just gotten here. Yep, I'm going to probably make this a bit of a longer one. So, uh, what was I doing again? What is the voice with this guy? Looks like the nest of an electric type Pokemon called Galvantula. Don't know what- That is definitely not the voice. Should I do like a- No- Yeehaw! That is horrible, but- Yeehaw! Don't know why there's a nest here, but if there are any folks having problems then, Jim Lee is the one to fix it, right? Go Croc Rock. His voice is terrible. This is not one of a cowboy. Yeehaw, sweet tea. Ah, TM. What's it gonna be? Oh my god. The TMs I've gotten seem to be really shit. Also, if I'm remembering... Okay, I don't care about this flipping voices anymore. Like, come on, man. If I'm remembering correctly, I can heal here? Or that might be a Black 2, White 2 game thing. You know what, I'll take a shiny stone. Please heal me. Oh, thank god. If <laughs> I really needed to heal here. Okay. So, I guess I'll get my encounter here. Oh, N. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Uh, my lord N, we brought the one you wanted. Ah uh, yes. That was just shield right? Just now, catch us and listed them in deep puzzle. Apparently, they were the ones who prepared the Gavalanchula nest at the cave entrance. Church Stone Cave, I like this place. Formulas express electricity, its connection to Pokemon. If people did not exist, this would be an ideal place. An ideal place for what? For you to live here? <laughs> You've been chosen, you know. Does it surprise you I said th th that? Yes. Of course, such news should be a surprise. I told Getsus about you and your friends. After I did, he apparently used the Shadow Triad to find out about you. Chan is pursuing the ideal of strength. Poor Bianca has faced the sad truth that no, not everyone can become stronger, and Bianca kind of sucks anyway, so, uh, yeah. And you, are not swayed either way, more of a neutral presence. Ah, uh, true neutral, ah, uh, yes. Which is apparently a good thing. Team Buzzmo will be waiting for you ahead. Getsus wants to see you what kind of trainer you are. Adios, friend. Wow, we really did a lot in this episode. <laughs> okay, well, time to- oh. Oh, yeah, right, encounter. Forgot that- oh, okay. Uh, 
You know, I went... 29? As a trainer Pokemon. Honestly, this isn't a bad Pokemon to have. Let's see, Con Guard, that should boost your defense. Yeah, so this should literally do nothing. Okay, uh, I'll go for a Sucker Punch, see what that does. Oh my god. Of course I got a crit. Alright, you got a Safari Ball, bud. You know, Parasect is not bad in the slightest. If it was a Paris, though, now that would be a god. Literally. Uh, okay, could you uh, get in the ball anytime this year? Why does why is he aura sphering? Does does it not know that he has probably super effective moves against me? All right, Ultra Ball. I'm just saying, like this ball likes your name. I don't think a ball has shooken once in this game. Oh my god! I should have switched. Thank God. Uh, let's see, top, top, wait, I'm, am I an idiot? I can't think today, apparently. Conversion, that's fine. Fighting type, oh, his is going to have stab now. Oh, is that how conversion works? I'm pretty sure it is. It turns into whatever your first slot move is, shake, shake, shake and bake. It, it's just not hard. Well, it is. It really is. Like, what the heck? Why did it take that long to catch one Pokemon? Alright, I'm gonna give this a Persona 4 name, but I can't think of one. Uh... Let me think. Where are the Personas in Persona 4? I can't really think of any. The main ones I used in Persona 4 was Loki... Uh, Magatsu Izanagi. Who else? Sao Gongen, I think his name was. I don't remember really. Saturnus. You know, what what does Magatsu mean? Because honestly, that might be a cool name. That was like one of the main personas I used near the end. He was fun. Um, uh, Magatsu. Meaning. Oh, it's Calamity. Oh, that's actually really cool. <laughs> you know what? Sure. You know, Parasect, he once was a god, now he's Calamity God. So, yeah, Magatsu. Magatsu. Maybe Picaro is the reverse? I don't remember. I thought it was one of those things. Okay, am I spelling this right? Mag Atsu. Yeah, okay, nice. And I'll put two U's because you know I'll be. Hopefully, I haven't fricked up any of the names recently. I literally won't be able to remember. Alright. Oh. Oh, this is where I got the lucky egg, right? Yeah, it's different per Persona 5. Wow. Okay, yeah, I have an addiction, clearly. And uh, black 2 and white 2. Uh, Oh, hi, Bianca. Apparently, you're useless, according to Enten. Uh, so, let's try and do her voice without killing mine. Let's see. Hey, did you know this? The floating stones move when you touch them. Right, Professor? Bianca, stop dragging me places like, what the frick? Oh, hi there. How are you at? This place is always charged with lots of electricity that Pokemon like. The electric charges react from the one... the... what? From one stone to another, and that's why some of the stones are floating. Wow! But not all of the stones can be pushed. Oh, oh. you know what a funny name would be for Parasect? Igor. Oh, that would be funny. Oh, another thing. I, I, I guess I'll leave more of the Persona 4 talk for... I don't want to say Friday's episode, but pro it probably would be Friday's episode. Like, I can finish my talk about the game, but on Friday, we're talking about the anime. Because I started that, and I'm watching it with a friend. We got six episodes in at the time of recording this. We'll get to that. I don't want to say anything yet. 
Uh, okay, so, what, wait, my fa- oh, right, the father's in this game, too. I thought it was Black 2 and White 2 only, but how was I doing this voice just now? My memory is absolute trash. Uh, my father asked me to research Clink, which is a Pokemon that looks like a gear. Oh, really? <laughs> wait, that wouldn't even be obvious. <laughs> Never mind. Because I'm, a, I'm researching the origins of Pokemon in the era they appeared. He knows- I wonder when some of these Pokemon appeared. Hmm, when did Monferno appear? Is he like the first monkey? He knows how to get what he wants from people, but I was already interested in this anyway, so it's a lot of fun. Oh yeah, this is for you. It's called a lucky egg, and it's basically gonna save your butt and try to evolve your uh, whale. Well, uh, have fun with that. You'll get like a lot of experience points and stuff. So like slap it on your whale. Thank you, friend. Alright, where is my... Here we go. I'm gonna activate one of these. And lucky egg. Slap that right onto my whale. There we go. And I should probably go heal, because I did not realize I actually took a decent amount of damage. Alright, so as I was saying, uh, with the post round 4, I honestly don't remember where I ended with talking about that. So I'm gonna have to take a second to rethink what I was talking about. I think I was talking about the final boss and the music. So yeah, I got through that part. I talked about the endings. What else? Oh right, then I went on to saying like, uh, if it's better than Persona 5. Unless I started the episode with that. But I probably didn't finish the topic knowing me. So, oh thank you for, oh no, it's Black 2 and White 2 where it gives you that. Damn. Okay, well, that's gonna be annoying. Let me just get on these things. Where is this? Oh, you know, I could have gotten, given the Whalmer a Eviolite. Or, wait, why am I not giving that to a Pea Shooter? He's never gonna evolve. What the heck? Yeah, Pea Shooter doesn't evolve. It's impossible for him. Alright, yeah, slap that on Pea Shooter right now. Like, are you kidding me? Alright, uh, where is the super repels? Here we go. Uh, probably gonna go for another three minutes for this episode, and then we'll, I will wrap this up with talking about which game do I truly like more? Persona 4 or Persona 5? Or Persona 5 Royal? If we're including Royal, then, well, it's Royal. No doubt in my mind. Also, I guess it's not Persona 4 because I played Golden. So it's comparing Golden versus Persona 5. Huh. You know... I, I don't know, I... I said yesterday... That I liked... Oh my gosh, she just turned into me. <gasps> Wait, the character is actually level 37? No. Oh my god, we're gonna need to grind again. No freaking way. This better be his only Pokemon. If it's not, then... What? What is with this sudden, like, jump in levels? Okay, it is his only Pokemon. Okay. That's gonna do a lot. Okay, I'm fine. Now, as long as I drop his health and he doesn't get... Okay, that's completely fine. If he got a water spout off, I would die. Don't crit. Thank you. There. Easy game. Okay. So, yeah, back to what I was saying. I said yesterday... When, uh, right after I finished playing the game, so I guess that's not probably the best time to say that. But I said I like Persona 4 Golden more than Persona 5. Or at least I thought that I didn't really say it. But I honestly don't know. Like, Royal obviously is... I love that a lot more. But... It's hard to compare Persona 5 and... Is this gonna be another... Oh, 35, that's a bit better. Plus it's a uh, normal. It's hard to compare... Uh, Persona 5 to Persona 4 Golden, because overall I don't really like playing games on my PC, and it was kind of annoying to do, and also the controls were inverted the entire time, which really annoyed me, and I played a bit of Persona 5 earlier, or Royal, uh, and it was confusing the heck out of me, and I was like, oh god, this is going to take a bit of you getting used to. Because going from inverted controls to normal controls is just whack. Oh, frick. I have to do more voices. 
You know what? Screw the voices. We don't need them. We don't play this game for the story. Well, yeah, no. Even though I do like the, doing the voices. But, um, as I was saying... Uh, yeah, I don't really know. Because... I think a lot of the social links are confidants. I think the ones in Persona 4 are definitely better. Because there's a lot more better ones. And then in Persona 5, there's just a few really good ones. And then the rest are, like, decent. Like, I'm trying to think of social... Oh, another thing. I... <laughs> there's this one confidant, or social link in Persona 4, that I just completely missed the entire game. Because you can tutor... There's a job where you tutor someone, and I just completely forgot I existed. So, I, near the end, I was like, all oh, right, I can do this. Huh. Also, out of the team members, I max ranked everyone except for Chie, which I got her to rank 8, but I wish I could have got her higher. I, I think easily my least favorite teammate character is Rize. I... If people like her, then I'm sorry, I just really don't. She seemed very annoying to me. So, yeah. Also, this episode is going a bit longer than I expected it to. Mainly because I just keep on talking about this game. Like, it's freaking amazing. The music I still like more. I still like the Persona 5 music better. Like, there's a lot of good themes in Persona 4, but I just like the themes in Persona 5 so much more. Uh, what else? What else can I compare them on? The dungeon stuff, obviously Persona 5 is so much better in that way. The story, though, that's where I'm like, ugh. That's where I'm like, I really can't decide. That's kind of like, if the story of Persona 4 is better, I probably think Persona 4 is better as a game. And if Persona 5 story, I don't know. Kind of tricky, but right now I'm thinking Persona 4 story is better. But with all the added stuff in Royal, that's what kind of bumps it up, and the gameplay obviously that bumps it up by a hell of a lot. Uh, but I don't know. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll. For now, I'm just gonna say Persona 4 Golden is better than Persona 5, and Persona 5 Royal is better than both. And I'm another thing. Uh, oh my gosh, I'm gonna never end the episode if- No, I'm gonna- I'm gonna leave this for Friday as episode. Let's just say it's talking about, uh... Persona. <laughs> okay, so what is this- These dudes talking about? Oh, they just led me across the bridge. Oh, they're really- What, what gentlemen, am I right? So, uh, thank you guys all for watching. Don't forget to like- uh, Ooh. I don't know why for a second there I was like, Waterstone, does that mean I can evolve my fish? My pea shooter? I doubt it, but you know what? Let's check. Because I think earlier in the games, you that is what happens? No. Okay. Or, wait, what is... No, it's um, on Feebast I'm thinking of. Right. Alright, well, thank you guys all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. In the next episode, I will hopefully get out of Chartstone Cave and not have a 30-minute episode of me talking about Persona. But... Hey, that's probably what's going to happen because that's what's on my mind right now. So, yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.